Hello, my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Heyer and I believe in dragons just like you, I'm sure of it. And welcome again in my forest. Well, actually not my forest, but I walk in it and I, I'm actually always alone in it. So <laughs> I can consider it as my forest and I do what I want here. And so one of these things are talking to the dragon. And that is what I do here a lot. I mean, I've opened so many gates here and I talk to them all the time. Actually, the only times that I don't talk to my dragon is when I talk to you. Uh, the, uh, the other moments I always talk to the dragon. And not always talking. Where are we talking about? Uh, sometimes about wisdom, about philosophy, about what the dragon is, about what I am. And we learn from each other, even though we know each other for 15 years, even more than that, because our spirits is much more older. And sometimes when we don't know what to say to each other, Moments like that happens. And I, I mean, the dragon is not a human. They don't. They don't have a human tongue. But I just want to say, what they, they don't want know what to say to each other, and that is what I discovered a while ago. <laughs> that is, uh, and I was actually a bit surprised because uh, I didn't know dragons would do that. But uh, dragons actually sing. They start to sing. They start to chant, they start to make noises, uh, and th those noises are meant actually for, um, for that, that, that to entertain you and to entertain himself. So that actually, you, you might say, wow, that is, that is beautiful, and it, it, they don't talk in it, they don't say words in it, they just make beautiful sounds, beautiful noises. And maybe for another human being that is not on the dragon's path, those noises are meaning nothing. But when it comes out of the mouth of your dragon, my brothers and sisters, that is beautiful. And sometimes you chant along with him or her. You make a duet. Not with words, but with noises, with our minds, with our thoughts as well. And sometimes you might hear them as well. And then uh, their voice is actually so loud that they, they can even hear it in this realm in this sight. Um, they only sing for you, they don't sing for someone else, for anyone else. They sing for you to, uh, not only to, sometimes they do that, to impress you, but also to say, um, that, sing along with me, just sing along. So, if we don't know what to say to each other, then you might just say, okay, Let's go and sing. I'm not that person that, that's, that used to love music that much. Music, human music, especially this, this time and age music. I, I don't care about this. It's so bad. <laughs> Most of it is it's so bad. And when, once you hear actually the voice of your dragon and they are starting to make a sound. But my brothers and sisters, that is the sound of an angel that is singing for you how so much honor i i the felt the first time i felt so much honor honor that my dragon was was making a song for me i was so impressed that um i i didn't even know that dragons could do that i mean they are dragons they are not humans why are he, they actually singing a song i mean i i thought that only humans did that but it's not in a human-like way, way, not at all. It's totally different and not comparable to what a human does. They sing songs, they sing uh, like words. They, uh, for the dragon, it might, uh, uh, it might end up actually in a magical music song, mu music, music uh, number. And this magic actually, but when the, once the dragon does anything, it's not like uh, a human being that can say, ah, I'm going to sing a song. No, what, what they are singing for you is meaningful. It, it means something. It's not empty singing. It's just um, to declare, for, for example, to de declare uh, love for you, to declare desire for you, or maybe to sing a song of the old tales of, of the, what, what the dragon knows, the, uh, the tales of the dragon realms, maybe the tales of the old days, maybe the tales of the dragon gods, the tales of himself, the tales of you, how do you, how you met each other. Um, like I said, uh, a dragon's love is eternal and most of the time it's a love song, but it can also be 
completely different than that. But the thing is that it, but what's most striking about this is, is actually that the, your dragon is, um, yeah, oh my goodness, so much, so, so many, th so many little bugs. I hope that I don't kill them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, what I was saying, um, yeah, the dragon, um, once once they are singing to you, it's uh, meant actually as um, as a connection that you have. It's it's something that you can also <laughs> uh, the first that uh, nee, that's what, it was, it was also the, it was a sec yeah second time I believe third time. I mean um, when once I did this ritual, the ritual of laying down on your back flat, and so. Um, I, I put my mind on the dragon, put blood on my on my statue for the I don't know how many times that I did that, but it was um, it was very powerful because once I did blood on the statue, I laid myself down flat on the ground, and once once you are in meditation form, you might hear the sounds of the dragon realms, and um, that was actually the first time. No, first no, it was not the first time. I, I always say that the first, but it's not the first time uh, that I then heard the dragon chanting, saying, uh, sh saying something without actually saying something. It, it was in, um, it was in in some kind of a way how how music is for us, but not really the same. I I mean, the the sound that the dragon made once they make a song, uh, it it can, it gives you a trance. It's like you are coming in a trance. It's like enchanting for you, for that that you actually that your soul uh, hears the song more than your ears actually hear. <laughs> like I said, but the dragon is not someone who takes a microphone and so no, you cannot say uh, dragon sing this <laughs> or that. No, the dragon sings once they feel it and they will do it once they will they want to say something with this song and they want to let you feel what they are saying but it's like how angels are singing they are angels the dragons are angels your angel <coughs> and so um dragon sings dragon sing um, the voice of the dragon is something only you can hear, not and, and someone else cannot hear this. Um, sometimes brothers and sisters can hear that, but the, the song that they are singing for you is only meant for you, for your soul. Yes. The thing is, <coughs> your human ears might not hear what they are singing, but it's your soul, your energy, your draconic spirit that is hearing the song. And that is why your hair will stand up once they will open their mouth to you. And you will understand that this is not something just that they want to say. That this is actually something that they want to that they want to do for you. To sing a song once you don't know what to say. Most of the time it's once you just don't know what to say to each other. Just to be with each other, just to hear to hear each other. And just maybe, then maybe, you could do this as well. Sing for your dragon. Maybe you are a human being and you are human. You have a human tongue and you have a human mind. But they don't mind. Once you give your something to the dragon, just that seems so unimportant, like a song. That is what the dragon wants to hear. Something out of, out of your mind. Something that they do to you as well. But in a more human way that you can sing and you can chant and you can uh, say something say something in this song that they that that they would love i'm sure of it because they are here for you and they love to hear your words alone so sing it do it in a more poetic way and um, don't write it down or don't think too hard just the first thing that comes in mind that is the most important uh, that you have to say to the dragon. So sing it, sing it in, uh, and maybe your dragon will love it. <laughs> you might say, ah, when I sing, the ears of my dragon will explode. <laughs> maybe so, but they will still love it and I'm sure of it. My brothers and sisters, be blessed.